Sound the trumpets for Trumpet. Steve Ainsley Bryant, we have some special guests here. That's right. History was made at the Westminster Dog Show last night. Watch. I'm very honored to announce that at the 146th Annual Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show, the best in show winner is the Bloodhound. Yeah. Oh, the trumpet goes best in show. And Trumpet is his name, and Trumpet is the first bloodhound to take home the coveted title, Best in Show. Yeah, Trumpet is here with the owner and handler, Heather B Buner, along with Westminster Kennel Club Director of Communications of Communications, Gail Miller Fisher. They both join us. Congratulations. Thank you. What was your reaction when the fun, when the verdict was finally handed down? I was shocked and excited all at the same time. <laughs> you weren't confident that you were? Or? I was. I'm always confident in Trumpet, but it's such a Proceeded show, and there's six other gorgeous dogs in that ring. Anybody could have walked home with that prize last and night. And Westminster's been around for 146 years. A bloodhound right. has never won, but you try yeah. every year. Every year, and you I said, try. Maybe this is yep. it. <laughs> Absolutely. How many do you have? I own three, um, but there's a few more that I co own that live in Illinois. Okay. What is it about bloodhounds that's so great? Like, <laughs> what's the, what are the features? Um, so, their nose yeah. is 100 times more powerful than our nose which makes them a great a trailing power. dog. Yep. And it is actually the only nose that holds up in the court of law. Yeah. That's really? right. So yep. let's put it to the test. I hold in my <laughs> hand right now a piece of paper belonging to Neil Cavuto. All right, track him down. Yeah. Track him down. You know, what I noticed about... I'm kidding. I know exactly where it is. I, what I noticed is... Just like my, our dog did, yep. he, he's worn the top of his nose down, yep, he which would suggest nose. you don't. The dog does not have to be absolutely perfect no. to win best in show. They're dogs. They're our pets first. They're not robots. They're allowed to do what they want. Yeah. <laughs> so, Gail, what was your reaction to this? First time in your experience for a bloodhound. Well, you know, bloodhounds have been at Westminster since 1878, and wow. so for it to take that long, it's a long time, right? But uh, he was beautiful last night. He really floated around the ring. He's in great condition. His muscle tone, his skin, you know, he's just in great shape. And the wrinkling on the head and the face is very important. And the so judge. So it's thoughtful, right? Thoughtful, but it really serves a purpose. It's yeah. about collecting and maintaining that scent when he's trailing. So it's a very important aspect to the breed, and the judge was looking for that last night. So obviously, no Botox on that dog. No. <laughs> What's the next step for this dog? We're going to continue showing. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to give it our all and see what happens. What it's Trump's, a fun journey. What's Trump's personality? Trump uh, has a trumpet. <laughs> he's, he's a fun guy. He can be a little ornery sometimes, but so are we. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Just like us, our faces yeah. start to drag down. With horses, they talk about putting them out to stud. Do you? What do you do with, I mean, obviously. You know, we, we don't try to just jump into that we like to see what he does first there's a um, health clearances that he has to pass first you know in order to even get to that point so and, and gail this is what it's all about with best in show it's it? all about the honor of winning the, the most prestigious yep. dog show in the world there's no money involved there's trophies ribbons is it is it a loving cup or is it a dish bowl <laughs> water bowl. You know, he eats a lot of food also. He's a pro plan dog, so he eats a lot of chow chow. Yeah. There might be a cup of Serena. Where will you put it? Um, I don't know you yet. Haven't no, I yet. haven't been home yet to look around and see where it fits. You know, I love that this dog show brings awareness to dogs. That's the most important yes. thing. You know, if you're going to own a dog, this is a great place to look at them and see what's good for your family. That's right. Sure. Make, sure, make sure you do your research and find the right breed for your lifestyle. This dog needs an exercise. He yep. gets a lot of exercise and he drools. That's part of the charm of the breed. So you have to be ready for that. And of course, with the big dog show, Probably the first time he's ever been around hundreds and hundreds of people. Did the dogs kind of freak out? It's like, where do I look? I know she wants me to follow, but I, there's a kid up in the 19th row. He took it very well, but you know, sometimes you do run into that situation. You just need to try to figure out how the dog's going to react to something different. You know, Heather, when we were looking for a dog for our family, we did a lot of research to find out what was the best for our family's sure. needs. What, what would you say? What type of a family would be good to own a bloodhound? Um, so bloodhounds need space. They need fenced in yards. This nose gets them into a lot of trouble without <laughs> a fence. Um, they get the Beverly Hillbilly portrayal right. as a lazy right. front porch dog. 
they are everything but that. Awesome. Right. Yep. So Let's dispel some of those they, myths. they really are a great family dog, though. They're great with children. They're very loyal dogs. And you but know what they else need their space. If anybody missed the show last night, you can watch. You can watch it all on Fox Nation, uh, on FoxNation.com. If you don't have the app and relive it. Yep, it's sure. one of my favorite mm -hmm. things to cover. Harley, come in. Here. Harley, come on in. Gail, oh. get her. 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 Get